You've probably seen it, the stylized image of a humpback man playing a flute, with feathers or spikes coming out of his head. There's something instantly attractive about the figure jamming on his flute without a care in the world. This is Cocopelli, a Native American fertility deity. He is revered by various Native American tribes and has a history that dates back thousands of years. There are many myths about Cocopelli and many versions of his powers and representations. Cocopelli's true origins remain a mystery, but as anthropologist Dennis Slipher states, it's likely that this deity was the result of a complex merging of various myths, deities, personalities, and traits that evolved over a period of at least a thousand years. His physical appearance may have been inspired by the Pochteca, professional long-distance traveling traders of Aztec society. These merchants had extensive trade routes across North and South America, and would journey with sacks of seeds and animals on their back to trade. They may have announced their arrival by playing traditional reed flutes. If this theory is correct, then Coco Pelli represents the original traveling salesman. The first images of Cocopelli appeared on Hohokam pottery over a thousand years ago. There are also many illustrations of Cocopelli on rocks in the southwest of the US. In these early depictions, Cocopelli is shown with a large phallus and a sack or hump on his back. The purpose of the phallus is clear. It's a marker of his status as a fertility deity. He was associated with childbirth and agriculture and was credited for being the source of agricultural abundance and human conception. Sometimes Cocopelli was depicted with a sack on his back. Some traditional beliefs claim that this sack was full of the seeds of all the plants and crops of the previous world, which he would bring into the new world, symbolized by the changing seasons. If Cocopelli visited with his sack, this would ensure an abundant harvest. The snow would melt, marking the end of winter, and spring would begin, with flowers and crops growing again. Cocopelli was also said to carry a variety of other things on his back, including babies, blankets, deer skin, and moccasins. The exact objects he carried would vary according to the beliefs of the Native American group. So what does the flute have to do with any of this? Cocopelli's flute is said to herald the spring breeze, and when people heard his flute, they would begin to dance and sing throughout the night. While his music would melt the snow and make it possible for plants to grow, there is also the belief that he used it to court women and help them become fertile. The flute represents Cocopelli's role as the spirit of music and as a muse for artists and musicians. It also associates him with fun, joy, good luck, and merriment. He reminds us to appreciate all that life has to offer. His flute carries the idea of merriment and laughter at feasts and gatherings. Although there is a lot to admire in the symbol of Cocopelli, there is also a sinister side to the deity. Cocopelli is also a mischievous figure, and some native Indians perceive him to be a trickster. Sometimes crops fail. Sometimes couples fail to have children no matter how hard they try. Sometimes plans fall apart and success slips away. When these things happen, it's easy to blame Cocopelli as the trickster who failed to deliver. In such cases, Cocopelli becomes a symbol of potential promises and hope hopes that failed to eventuate. Cocopelli can also represent the chaos behind creation. He can be seen as a reminder of the struggles we all face in life. He plays his flute, woos us into a false sense of security, and then he moves on, leaving us dazed in his wake. In the 20th century, Cocopelli survives stronger than ever, depicted as a free spirit, a hippie-like figure with not a care in the world, intent on his music. The spikes on his head have evolved into stylish dreadlocks. There's no phallus to be seen, the humpback too has all but vanished, and instead he's a figure bent over his instrument, jamming on his flute. Cocopelli has evolved over the centuries and remains popular, unlike most other ancient deities who have vanished into obscurity. His symbolism as a fertility deity who brings abundance and pleasure is still as relevant as ever. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for similar content. Don't forget to click the notification button so we can let you know when we release new content. Thanks for watching.